So let's, let's not talk. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Turn to the right. So this gentleman's leaving. Um, we'll grab his information and see what we can do. But this, you know, like I said, so, so, uh, can, can I, you please I, collect the information before he's gonna walk out? But we wouldn't be able to give it to you. That's, that's okay, that's okay. But see if he's still, because but you guys will take it. Yeah, can you guys take from here? Don't have to be with us. He said that he's already uh, illegal. He already said that he went to... Okay, hold on, let's back up a little bit. First off, we're, we're a sanctuary city. Even if he is legal here, we cannot call ICE okay. and report him. But you still have to report that, right? No, we don't, because it's a sanctuary city. We do not report illegal, undocumented... So you're going to let a person who went to prison, he committed a crime in America, who's illegal right now, you're going to let him go free right now yes, to this elevator. That's exactly what I'm saying, because we're a sanctuary city. I've arrested a double homicide suspect in this city before and let him walk out the door because we're a sanctuary city. We're not going to call ICE to come pick him up and deport him. He came to pick up $320,000 from your, him, or mine, grandmother and grandfather, and he's walking away freely right now, I right? That's that, what sir. I'm understanding right now. I, I understand that, but you're, you're asking me to call ICE or the... Um, I'm not asking you to call ICE. We're just asking no, you to take I'm seriously just, I'm just trying to repeat offend when he's already illegal. He flew repeating from New York. Already been doing. He said, I'm in uh, Chinatown in New York. They paid for his tickets. He came. He's going to give him $2,000 to pick up his $320,000 package from Norton refund scam, and you're gonna take that money, deliver it to again to Chinese market, and gonna fly back to New York to Chinatown. So okay. he's gonna just walk, do all this, and we're not gonna do anything, right? Oh, that's a lot of information, dude. It, um, it is. Yeah, it's a lot, it sounds a lot like of information. He has been working this thing for a while. We've been doing this a long time. Yeah. I realize this is a common problem we run into when it's a sting operation, uh, where there's no actual crime committed, and we understand that. But we, we're trying to get our powers and awareness. That's why we make videos. We're not law enforcement. We're not claiming to be. Yeah, no, but absolutely. those scams that are stealing money from yeah. grandmas and grandpas, they lose billions of dollars every oh, yeah. year. So what we do is we follow through with those scams. We pretend to be victims on the phone, and we wait until they tell us where to send the money. And in this case, they told us to send 320 k in cash to have someone pick it up at this hotel. So that's what we're doing. We film the entire exchange. Obviously, it was a setup. There is no 320 k It's fake money. But he's the mule. He's the one that's supposed to pick it up. And he admittedly has a criminal record doing this exact thing. And he's illegal. So I don't know what your power is, but we just want you to know so that you he's saw, trying. You guys have his information already, right? Well, we have what he told us. We didn't check his ID. But we have everything he verbally told us, which is that he's illegal. He verbalized his real name. I don't know if it's his actual real name, but he Wait, told us his, his name. Was, I have to check the tape. It was, it was, it was, Chi it was Chinese. I don't know the spelling. But um, he was pretending to be Peter from Geek Squad. And then he said, you know, I'm not Peter. I was like, yeah, I know that you're not Peter. Yeah. And we have the entire scam from start to finish recorded. That's where we come into the problem, is because for anyone to fully understand the scam, they have to see all this evidence. It's not just sure. about him being in the hotel room with cash. It's like, this has been going on for several days, and he's the point person to take the fall for it. So we're here to expose it, but also try to do something about it. Our power is an awareness in showing the public how these scams work. We obviously can't tell you guys what to do, but please do something.